The Stirling engine operates on a principle of a hot reservoir and a cold reservoir. When the flexible member reaches the cold side, it causes the air to contract and pushes the bellow back down to the hot reservoir, which then continues the process. Let's see what will happen using liquid nitrogen and no hot reservoir. So we're going to try it. We're going to put liquid nitrogen on the top without any heat source on the bottom. And let's see what happens. Now I have to be careful not to do it too fast. Otherwise, I'll basically freeze up the engine. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to put a little bit, let it slowly, I guess I'm kind of like walking around a little bit and let it kind of slowly get this thing cold. All right, here we go. And there we go. Now we can see it's now finally cold enough. Without any heat source on the bottom, we're able to get this thing to run because it's not the, the uh, necessarily the absolute temperature that matters. It's the difference in the temperatures between the hot and the cold side. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.